గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అ వెరీ స్పెషల్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ సినిమా చాట్ విత్ అమిత టుడే ఇట్స్ నాట్ అవర్ యూజువల్ థర్స్డే ఈవినింగ్ సినిమా చాట్ విత్ అమిత ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ స్పెషల్ వన్ వెన్స్డే ఎర్లీ సెవెన్ థర్టీ ఇన్ ది ఈవినింగ్ అండ్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ ఎవ్రీబడి హూ ఈస్ జాయినింగ్ అస్ ఫ్రమ్ అదర్ కంట్రీస్ స్పెషల్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇండియా అండ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ అవర్ ఫ్యాన్స్ హియర్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీలంక వాట్ సో స్పెషల్ అబౌట్ టుడే షో today amit gamage that is me is going to be the co-host and my 11 year old son nethile is going to be the host and he is going to take the uh, take over the show and he has a very special guest who has come here to uh, share her story with all of us so first i'm going to bring nethile and nethile is going to bring this very special uh, guest to the show and remember this is young preneur spotlight where we spotlight young entrepreneurs and this is nethila's second uh, young preneur spotlight show here i'm adding nethila to the stream good evening nethila good evening hi hello everyone yeah thank you for uh, joining the show nethila and thank you for Uh, hosting the show on behalf of me i'm going to go off the screen and it's up to you to take over the show from this point onwards over to you yeah okay hello everyone hi so today our special guest is vinusha and she is currently running a successful business it's a bakery business actually so uh, let's bring vinusha onto the stage please Hi Pratilla. Hello. Hi Vinusha. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Thank you. So, uh, how do you feel, you know, coming here onto the over here? Oh, um, I feel pretty good actually. This is my second LinkedIn live and I'm very excited about it. And uh, thank you so yeah. much for inviting me here and I hope we have a good evening. Yes, I hope that too. So Vinusha, my first question to you would be about your family. So, um uh I don't have any siblings myself, my father and my mother. My father's name is Muthu Ramalingam and uh, he's a chemical engineer in a corporate company and uh my mother is a businesswoman. She has her own preschool. So, that's about them. and they all come from a very small village and me too uh, in india tamil nadu and uh, and uh, both of them are not from the bakery fields and i would say i'm the first entrepreneur in my family so that's great that's really interesting to find out that you're the first entrepreneur in your family and also it's really interesting to hear that your father is a chemical engineer Okay Vinusha. So it's great to hear that. So can you tell me about your education? So I study in a school called Amrita Vidyalayam and I'm in the 5th grade and um not so much about my school. Yeah, that's where I'm studying. Do you have a favorite subject? Yeah, uh, I love uh, EVS which is environmental science. So I like science a lot. I like history. I like environment and yeah and I like the teacher too. Ah, okay. So I have very important question for you Vinusha. Can you tell me roughly yeah like when you fell in love with baking like when you started to love baking so much? Actually uh it was uh when I was 8 years old it was around an 8 and a half to 9 and it was one and a half or two years back okay so it's been quite some time you must have some good experience hello yeah can you hear me nathala yes i can i can hear you i i said that uh, you must have some good experience in baking yeah 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 it has been a long and i have learned uh, throughout my journey a lot and i'm still learning okay 
So where did you actually learn baking and cooking? Did you go somewhere to learn it or did you learn it from your parents? I didn't learn from my parents as I said you before they're not in this field and oh, yeah. actually yeah. I learned uh, learned it from the home bakers um, but I learned didn't learn much so I went to the um, I just did an internship in the hotels and cafes the restaurants and cafes through that I learned and I also did some courses with the professional chefs oh okay so you learn from other chefs that's great when did you decide to have a business? You know your own one. Uh, let me uh, let me walk you through my small and sweet journey fully. So um, I really got passion uh, uh, about baking when I was eight and a half to nine, and I just loved baking at that time. But I just love watching the videos of baking and cooking foods. But I didn't really make it. I just said my mom to do it, and he was just teaching it when I was eight years. But when I was nine years old, a change came over me, and I wanted to bake a cake with my friend for my mother's birthday. And at that time, um, at that time, I realized I had passion for baking, and I wanted to bake cake again. So I called my friend. My friend said, "Baking is boring. It's not interesting. I'm not uh, coming to bake, and I'm going to play outside." So I baked the cake with my mom. So I was very um, curious about baking. I was very crazy about baking, and I was mad at the baking. So uh, I was always talking things about baking, and, and uh, why? How my father and mother come to know about it is that they, um, whenever they talk about any topic, it can be any topic. I just usually ended up up in baking, and that's how they uh, came to know that I was really passionate about baking. And after that, as I said, I went to uh, learn with the home bakers. So I didn't learn much. So I did an uh, internship in the in, uh, the hotels and cafes where I learned a lot about baking, confectionery, hot kitchen, and everything. And uh, after that, my father, mother, and father took me to many entrepreneurial sessions where I met a lot of entrepreneurs. I was inspired by the stories and ideas. So I thought, why shouldn't I start my own brand? And then I started my four season pastry on September 15, 2019, and that's uh, my whole journey. Okay, so that's good. Uh, yeah, one more thing, Nimsha. I also love watching cooking videos. My mother also like. I help my mother uh, bake things, like she makes brownies and stuff. So I watch the videos with her and cook with her. So that's great. I do that too. Okay, that's too good. Okay. Why did you choose the name Four Seasons Pastry? Uh, because uh, I love seasons a lot, so I incorporated seasons with cupcakes. So as you know, we'll be having the four seasons, which is the summer, winter, autumn, spring. And oh, yeah. um, but here in Chennai, we don't have all the seasons though. We just have summer, or I think so. We have we do have spring. Yeah, after monsoon, we do have spring. But uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, so um, we, I, so I love seasons. So I just incorporated those seasons with the cupcakes. So for example, for the winter season, we'll be having a winter-based cupcake. Like we'll be having a cupcake. Like we'll be having a muffin. We'll be having an icing. On top of it, we'll have snowflake, which is an edible snowflake made of food clay. We call it fondant. So. Uh, for winter, it would be like that. For spring, it would be like an uh, an icing, and on top of that, we'll be having a flour on top of it. It's an edible flour. As I said, we'll be keeping the fondant on top of it. So it represents spring. So spring is a floral season, right? After after the monsoon comes, the spring comes. So after the rain, the flowers bloom. So based on that, I just keep a flour on top of the cake, cupcake. And okay. for the autumn season, it will be a leaf on top of it. It's an edible leaf, and um, as uh, in autumn, what the leaves fall down. And for orange, it would be uh, sorry. For summer, it would be an orange color. That's what I was coming to say. So, uh, so uh, based on this, I named my brand Four Seasons Pastry. So the four uh, seasons and the pastry. That's great. That's amazing. How you like, according to the seasons, you make your pastries and food. That's that's amazing. What a great idea. 
yeah so uh, can you explain a little bit more about your business i mean do you have any products or services available in it yeah we have a lot of products uh, i'll mainly share about my verticals so you come to know more about my brand yeah so i have totally four verticals and um my first vertical is my season based cupcakes i said you uh, uh maybe in a short word i would say there are the big goodies such as the season based cupcakes the cakes chocolates brownies sandwiches blondies uh and many more yeah many more and uh, that's my first vertical my second vertical would be uh my vinusha's baking kit which we'll come to about that later my third vertical is uh my online baking class for kids it's basically an uh baking class it's a hands on baking class where i and the kids would be baking and uh it would be quite interactive and it's for kids between 7 to 14 years old so um it's quite um so that's about my third vertical and my um uh, fourth vertical is uh, my motivational speeches for the college graduates uh it's basically where i give my speeches my experience what i do my brand name uh, my journey and what i know like where i know i have visited and uh, what qualities an entrepreneur has everything to the college students to the college graduates so uh, that's my fourth vertical so let me come to my second vertical it's uh um, i have a product called vinusha's baking kit and in that baking kit you will be having the ingredients uh you will be having the method to make it and then you will be having the uh, and then you will be having the stem which is science technology engineering and math about baking so you will learn the science behind baking uh from this baking kit and you will be having the ingredients to make that uh recipe currently we have three things with us first one is a cupcake second one is a blondie and third one is a cookie so uh for the cupcake uh, in the cupcake kit you will be having the ingredients for the cupcake the procedure for the cupcake and the stem and the science behind the cake in the front the blondie the same ingredients procedure and everything and i also received uh funding for this baking kit um uh, from mr nurdin ahmed from uae and that has helped me a lot actually i have 500 boxes of um boxes right here in my home so uh without that funding i wouldn't uh be able to do that and also uh, uh i was saying it's for kids but i didn't say the age category it's for 7 to 14 year old kids and adults can also try it they can also try it out so through this baking kit even a beginner even a person who doesn't know baking can bake so that's the thing. that's the verticals and products i have Okay so that's good I I feel like I want to get that baking kit too now now that you explained about it you know the science behind baking all of that so it makes it really interesting Yeah so uh, Vinusha how did you feel when you launched you, you know your business your bakery how did you feel did you feel happy or uh, what are the emotions I felt really happy and uh It was like a really big moment for me because I I never thought um, I never thought I would be starting my own brand, but um, yeah, I started it. Uh, it was a very happy moment. Okay, so yeah, that sounds great. You are very confident about it, right? You felt really confident confident about launching it. Yeah, I, I felt really confident about launching it. and uh, yeah so uh, vinusha if you can remember what was the first thing you made for a customer what was the first dish like um yeah. it was the season based cup, uh, cupcake it was for my uh, for i put up a stall and there only i launched my brand uh here in chennai tamil nadu india so uh, over there i uh, i had a, a cute little customer the customer name i forgot but she is uh, uh, it was a birthday on that day and uh, she bought my season based cupcake so she was my first little customer she was 6 to 7 years old at that time oh so a little girl was your first customer that's great So, uh, Vinusha, 
another important question how did you make people aware of your business so um i just as uh, uh, i put up stalls uh, like i put up stalls uh, i did marketing through that so i put up stalls and there i sold and i gave samples to them so through that they will know that there is a brand called four seed of pastry we can buy and order it they have a lot of variety of things and uh they have a unique selling point they have uh, their own usp and uh, they uh, we can also buy those baking kits uh for our child so yeah i'll be giving the samples of the cakes to them and uh, through that they'll come to know about my brand and through social media social media marketing is really important and that's how we met up yeah so uh, we met up through to linkedin So like that, I meet up my customers through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. So more the things. Okay. So this is how I make my okay customers aware of my. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Okay, Vinusha, that's great how you use the social media platforms. So Vinusha, how much do you think your family has supported you? How much has your family supported you? Um, it's far more than to tell. so uh without them the journey would be really incomplete and without them i would not uh, come up this far and i think so it's it's only because of my father and mother okay i'm very happy to hear that your family has done all that they can to support you so uh, vinusha another important one who is your role model I think so this will take uh, a lot of time to answer. I have uh, five to six role models, so let me share them one by one. Um, so my uh, first one is C.K. Ranganathan sir. He is the uh, managing director of Kevin Care, uh, which is in, uh, currently present in Tamil Nadu, and they have a lot of variety of products and shampoos and all those things. when you think like when you take three brands in that two of the brands would be theirs so um the chicken white shampoo is theirs uh the kartika shampoo is theirs and like that wow. we think all those brands are in separate company but we really it's theirs so uh they are very vast in the shampoo industry and many too and uh i met them and his son too and he's been a really big inspiration for me My second uh, role model would be um uh Hollywood's Mahadevan sir. His act uh, his actual name is Mr. Mahadevan and the Hollywood's is his brand. It's the first brand he started and he has around 25 to 30 cafes and restaurants uh around the globe I think so. So he has a very vast business and uh, he is my second role model. uh i met him i have not met him i met his son but i am yet to meet him i hope i meet him. my third role model is uh i would say it would be suresh amdam sir i'm not sure if you would be knowing the person i'm naming to you because um yeah not sure if you would be knowing no no actually i don't so uh, yeah sure yeah. uh, my Continue. third inspiration My third inspiration is Suresh Amandam from Kiss Flow. Um, I have met him and I have spoken to him uh, virtually. And um, actually, he has been a really big inspiration. And um, his dream Tamil Nadu mission is uh, dream team mission is really big, and I really support it. So um, you can Google and see him. Actually, he is from Kiss Flow. It's in SaaS capital. It's in SaaS company. And, okay, so I think uh, yeah, so yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my fourth role, uh, role model would be um, wait, let me think. Like, there's a lot of people. Let me think a little bit. So it's great to know you have a lot of people you look up to. You know, a lot yeah, of role models. Street away me. Uh, it would be Mr. Street away me. Um, Street away me. He. He is the uh, uh, 
um, separation. Zoho mails, Zoho books you use, you know, you know that. You no. know that. Uh, no. Okay, fine. No. So he no. is the CEO Internet. of Zoho Corporation, and he's also been in um, my very uh, favorite uh, what role model, and he is the fourth role model and. Uh, uh i just uh, admire him because uh he is very very frugal and uh, i like that so much i'm going to share uh, another person who is also very frugal his name is veldu mani he is the founder of tayo care so he is the founder okay. of tayo care and uh he is also a very inspirational person and he is very very simple and very very frugal So these are my five tool models. Okay, so yeah, a lot of people will look up to. Yeah, that's good. So Vinusha, what kind of business books do you read? You know, not you know, like I am sure you read a lot of baking books also. Do you read any business books? Yeah, sure. Can I show some of them? Uh, it may take I mean, one yeah. minute. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm but sure it's okay. Just a minute. I'll be coming back. Okay, Nisha. We oh, uh, wait have... till she come. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. I we have a lot of books, but um, I'm gonna show you just four books that I love to read. So the first one, oh. uh, everyone would be um, knowing it. So can you guess it, Natilla? It's by Robert Kiyosaki. Mm. No, Nisha, I cannot guess it. Rich Dad Poor Dad. So it's oh it's Rich Dad Poor Dad. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah I've yeah. been Robert I've been looking Kiyosuke. for that book. Yeah. So um by Robert Kiyosaki. It's an awesome book, and it's actually full of financial terms, which um I itself sometimes don't understand a little bit, but uh, I just um get help from my father for this book, and this book is really awesome. If you want to know about financial terms, about financial things, you can read that book. And this is about the curious marketer. It's by Harish Bhat, and uh, you may be knowing him. He is from uh, Tata Stubbs. Okay, so <laughs> so uh, he has written this book, and it's an awesome book. And uh, it's about branding and consumer behavior, how customers uh, behave. the consumer behavior so let me share oh. one thing about you okay uh, oh sorry about this book so uh if if you want to know more thing about the consumer behavior or branding or marketing you can read this book and also uh in this book they have written the colors that customer really like and attracted to uh so green red white black yellow pink the 6 to 7 colors are what really people are attracted to and uh, that's the consumer behavior one point from that so uh, for example let me take green the tata starbucks um, logo is in green color so it attracts us right it's just uh, so pleasant it attracts us so uh, this book is really really useful for marketing and booming brands so this is okay. also an awesome book uh it's about 11 brands in india and uh, it's by harish 11 brands from... 11 11 brands from india so uh it's by harsh and he has actually sent it a send note in this too so uh to me so he has just sent it to me and i read this book this book is also really really awesome and uh you can read it too like um it's awesome the one story i love is about goli vada pav you can read that and uh they also have a story of uh, about of uh book my show you know book my show no vinusha what is that can you tell me 
Nah, Book My Show is a uh, is a brand. It's a brand. It's a it's a brand actually. So uh, it's a brand in India. So you so that you may not be knowing it. So um, yeah. Book My Show is where uh, I'm not really able to explain it. It's where they buy. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Lot of things, and uh, it's a, like a ticket company. It's like a ticket company. Okay. It's a really big player, and I also conducted some baking class over there in Book My Show. Okay, Vinisha. So uh, we might be running uh, out of time. So we okay. might be running out of time. So let's continue. Yeah. So Vinisha, sorry, last book alone. So uh, it's the Dream Chasers book, and it's by Shobha Vaiya. That's all. These are four books. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So Vinusha, what do you want to say to kids who are watching this and want to be like you, like they look up to you, they think of you as an inspiration? What do you want to say to them? Uh, find out the passion you really like, and uh, see what you really like, which stands apart from all the other passions, and pick it out, and then uh, follow that always. And don't look uh, for people like seeing you. Just do what you like, and all the uh, all the attraction, you will be the limelight. So that's the thing. Yeah. And also, Arrange. never give up. Yeah. Uh, Just never give up, children. You never give up, and uh, be patient. All things take time. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Yes, Vinusha. All things do take time. We must be patient. That's the last. Yes, I, I'm here. Yeah. yeah, that's all. Yeah. yeah. So, what is your message for the parents? Um, support your kids. Yeah. Support your kids. Support your kids. Uh, yeah, uh, allow them to try and uh, give them some time. Yeah. Okay, Vinusha. So I think that would be all the questions that we have to ask you. Thank you very much for taking your time here with us. Thank you, Nethila. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Nethila and Vinusha. for coming to my show that is cinema chat with uh, amita and uh, shed a lot of lights about entrepreneurship what kids should be doing uh, how and even the books that you showed i mean i i suddenly realized how small i am in front of two of you uh, i mean when i was listening to your conversation i was realizing oh my god i don't know a lot because you all are talking about practicals and vinusha is actually bringing a lot of experience by working in india one of the largest markets in the world and uh, i'm sure you are planning to expand bit by bit vinusha yes yes we are going to go world and uh, around the world so yeah nethila is actually looking forward to order a baking kit you know when things are little all right he would want to test that <laughs> actually so, we are currently delivering it throughout india so let me think about uh sri lanka yeah oh. and if 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 any one of my friends coming over there i will make sure that you know he contacts you and pick up a, a, a pack uh, and then bring it here so thank you so very much uh netila for hosting the show today and this is the second uh, young pranu spotlight vinusha thank you very much for joining with us i know how busy you are you are inspiring lots of kids around the world but still you decided to help kids from sri lanka i mean we will never forget this uh, moment probably this video will be on uh, netila's youtube channel so that anyone can watch it and get inspired So uh, we wish you all the very best, and thank you, thank you very much. Stay safe. Thank you. And, and good yeah. night. Thank you first of all for inviting me here, Nathala, and uh, thank you so much. Yeah, finally, yeah. It's, it's power of LinkedIn. I mean, you two got connected through LinkedIn, and here we are. You know, who knows? You know, we may even form partnerships, Nathala, Venusha. You never know. <laughs> Let's see. Look forward to it. 
Yep. Don't write in. Okay, thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye.